Hey guys, and welcome back to ECL Everyday Choose Love. Plant one. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're Love cheesy. Love videos, I get to kiss my <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, this is going to be a summary for day four of the Georgia Traverse of our video. Um, you'll see in the video, we woke up in the morning at what we call the gun range campsite because uh, when we woke up, found quite a few gun casings, you know, shell casings, uh, 9 mils, 45s, 38s. So uh, I think that area might have been used for a little bit of a gun range for a hunting season maybe, or just, um, you know, practice, target practice. There were four fire rings at the campsite, so it was a very large campsite, as you'll be able to tell. There was also a, a grill that was really nice that was hidden under some yeah. brush, so I, for sure we think that some hunters are using it. Yeah. So uh, we woke up with the intent that uh, we would head towards Tennessee, which uh, the trail would take us parallel with the Tacoa River, um, and we're going to head on over to, uh, to the uh, Blue Ridge area, and we crossed over to Tacoa. Uh, going across the Shallow Ford Bridge, which was built in 1918, it's Steel Bridge. And uh, then we went over to Blue Ridge. Mm -hmm. The trail took us uh, where we could see a really nice views of the North Georgia mountains, were beautiful. In Blue Ridge, we stopped at the Blue Ridge Barbecue, mm -hmm. had some food. Uh, Skittles and uh, Snickers had some food too and they were, they were able to get out of the Jeep and relax a little bit so they enjoyed that. One tip if you are going to go off the trail and visit Blue Ridge, which we think you should, it's awesome, take some money, some cash for parking downtown. Um, I mean otherwise I mean you could go to an ATM but it would be easier for you to have that cash in hand. Yeah, in fact the whole trip to have just a few dollars in, in cash would be a good idea, not a whole lot, just a few dollars. Um, and then um, we left Blue Ridge, we head on towards uh, Tennessee, and we knew weather was becoming an issue that night and the next day for sure, uh, but as we got into Tennessee from the days prior, a lot of wind, there was a bunch of trees that were down the road, and the, the trail up the, the mountain we were at, we, uh, as we got into Tennessee, we 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 um, saw the road was closed. There was extra signs that road closed, and we went down there and we said, "Hey, you know what? Let's turn around back." And and, and we had saw a um, ranger, right? So we stopped and asked a ranger, and he said the jeep would be fine. Go through. He said, "But you may not get across the other half." And what he was saying was it'd be best because where we were at to try to camp at Thunder Rock. And that way we would be able to be a little safe uh, from the, the mountains and the high wind at the upper level. And uh, Thunder Rock is a pay-as-you-go campsite. It's not a dispersed campsite like we've been used to. And uh, But it was not bad. It was a nice campsite. It was on the Okoya River. And um, that's, that's what we did, right? Yeah, even though it was paid camping, there were only two sites which already were occupied that had um, electricity. So our Jackery, of course, did come in handy for us to light up our campsite. And as you'll see in some of the uh, footage, we really lit up the campsite. Yeah, we did. Like the whole campground. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, we used that rope LED lighting, really nice stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Jackery, uh, you know, had it lit up all night long, along with the refrigerator and so forth so mm -hmm. it, it was good it was really good and, and the puppies liked it so and it was our last night of s'mores yeah the well, last night of s'mores we i missed those <laughs> but uh anyways thanks for joining us and Day we'll four. see you next episode we're going to be wrapping up this adventure so make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell you might have to search for it but it's there see you next time
Thank you.